Uh, Julie is here. And hello, Julie. And Gemma is here. Hello. Water in it's okay, Kim. Do not worry about the crinkling. <laughs> Duncan. Hannah. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. Do you remember that? That's the guy who uh, presented the world's funniest animals. Tired, pained eyes. Hey, everybody. A kangaroo doesn't belong on a golf course. <laughs> Maybe it does in this clip, though. Do you remember that? <laughs> Do you remember? I remember that. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I've been to the gym for 16 hours. I'm so tired. Uh, hey everybody, today I bumped into someone who uh, did filming with Joe Wicks last week. I said I'm very sorry to hear that. I told them about PE with Lee, which I still want to do more about with. Oh, she they weren't impressed. She was not impressed. She was not. <laughs> oh, what? With, oh, she's not impressed with my PE with Lee. But I think Joe Wicks should be all over that. She'd love that. Oh, he's lovely. Yeah. I'm not lovely. I'm an embittered old shit. <laughs> Welcome. That's how we love you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Joe Sodding Wakes. Virtual inset. Hannah, what fun. I mean, I didn't bump into them, Mum. I just, you know, saw them in the park. I didn't, I didn't physically bump into them. I didn't need a mask. I was, you know, two metres apart. A Johnsonian two metres apart. I did what I think is an excellent tweet about that. I'm going to see how it's doing. But it's doing really brilliantly. Yeah, absolutely no interest whatsoever. Hang on. I think they changed the algorithm on Twitter. <laughs> Uh, oh, a couple of nice people liked it. That's nice. Oh, no, wait. I was one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus idea? Christ. Well, yeah, I re I, I did it on my Not Today account, and then oh, I retweeted okay. it from my other account. All right, fine. Judge away. <laughs> oh, God. Where's... Hang on, what have I done now? No. I have a bad case of diarrhea. I've lost the tab. I don't know what I'm doing. There it is. Let's make that separate. I have a bad case of diarrhea. Um that's quite a funny idea. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Real Myers.
Oh, hi, Chris. No, there's no purpose. <laughs> I mean, what purpose is there to any of this? Um, I'm about to make the podcast. Well, I'm sort of making it. I'm just collating stuff. Uh, and I'm going to read it out. And I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to put it on the internet. Um, it is, it's group counselling for me. It's... Uh, um, and we have a really great time. <laughs> oh. I, I often refer to you viewing as the brains trust. Uh, you know, sometimes I need advice. And I'm always pathetically grateful That's fine, it's fine. Hello, Father. My man and dad watching this morning. It's a treat. All right. Um, it's fine. I'm not I'm not ready yet anyway. Uh Uh, okay, okay, hang on, just everybody calm down, Okay, okay. I'll stop saying okay and then it'll be okay. Okay, okay. Right. You're all very sweet. You can stop that right now. Here we go. Um. You missed nothing. Right. R okay. Bloody sirens. <clears throat> Here we go. 
the last outing for this tune. I know you hate it. Don't worry about it. I love that tune. Um, but uh, you have spoken and I will obey. Uh, and tomorrow we sort of relaunch. It's the first anniversary of the podcast. And I'm very, very excited uh, about it. Uh, in the meantime, though, well, uh, Boris Johnson uh, keeps pinging, doesn't he? Uh, what's oh, he's just well, oh, he's so unlucky uh, how he keeps getting the uh, track and trace alerts for being exposed to COVID. Uh, nothing to do with you. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, oh, lovely to see you. Oops, <laughs> a, a, a photo. I'm oh, delighted. No, no, I, I don't think we need any masks now. Do, oh, damn a blast. Uh, Runs a game we used to play at Eton, lick the doorknob. Now, the first thing I am literally the unluckiest prime minister in the. Don't anyone here even look at me. Ooh, straight clarinet. <laughs> oh, come on. Hello, I'm Primrose. I'm a butcher's dog and uh, I'm not very well. Each morning I get up and I'm carried outside by my owner to have a poop. Then he carries me back in. Uh, now, I've read interviews with a lot of butchers who say they generally leave the tumours in the meat they sell, but my daddy is the best butcher in the world, and he cuts them out. And you, you know what that means. More treats for primrose. Some people say that being fed on a diet of hen bowel tumours and pig gums has left me pretty unfit but it it's the sawdust that causes the, the trouble <laughs> oh that's nice not bad that still my daddy says that when the day comes that i'm no longer useful he'll haul me up on the block and drop his cleaver straight through my pretty <laughs> Throat. Daddy, can you carry me outside for another for another poo? Oh boy, I've never been up on the counter before. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Reese Mog. Oh, look at these prices. Ooh, true enough. <laughs> right you are, Mr. Eastmore. Well, now, what's the cheapest cut you can do? Whoa, bless my soul. <laughs> Let's make that work. Sorry, Julie. <laughs> Making everybody wretch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Jim, your life's exquisite. <clears throat> Jim says, if it's any consolation, I've just walked into the kitchen while listening to this and our very elderly cat has shat in three separate locations and I've had to open the doors and windows. <laughs> oh 
has really had an additional dimension to the piece. <laughs> That's proper interactive theatre, that. <clears throat> um, then it's not the cat. You, you need to start kind of being honest with yourself. It isn't. Uh, 42, 43, 44. 44, 11, 17. Four dimensional podcast. A ping. <clears throat> yeah, the cat. Oh, God, that bourbon looks so good right now. Bing, bounding, sliding, bending, bell. It's really easy it's just to do a, oh. No. I just need a little uh, Glock or something, don't I? No, thank you. You're very kind. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. Thank you. No. Don't anyone here find 
Uh, <clears throat> oh, bye, Ollie. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> I had a I had a piece of music and I can't find it and I don't know what I ever called it. <clears throat> Maybe it's in here. Maybe.
Hello, Sally. <clears throat> uh, no. <laughs> Maybe I should say yes. Yes. Yes, I'm the guy that does Jonathan Pye. And and uh, and I I'm I'm very successful. Good. Goodbye, Gemma. Goodbye, Hannah. Goodbye, everybody. Just gone. Just went. No. God. Oh, Hannah, that's awesome. I've missed Hannah. That's so cool. <clears throat> Shot doorbell. Uh, just get that, stick that in there, get rid of that. Hi, Pat. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, cool. Okay. I am slaving over a hot door. <clears throat> and I'm Jacob Drew Smog. <clears throat> Morning, pleb. Morning, pleb. 
No one said regaining one's sovereignty would come easily. Should have put your money in Ireland like I did, pleb. Free school dinners. <laughs> How tedious you're getting. Up you come. Now then, pleb, breast or leg? Morning, Mr. Eastmark. Chris Packham. Don't even start. I've obviously made this very public, this video. <clears throat> right, there we are. Well, that's true, Jim, but they're not paying for it the way you are. <laughs> You're very welcome. But, uh, you know, ordinarily, this is a sort of privilege only afforded to people cocking up, coughing up, cocking up, cock it up, cocking up, folding money. Right. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Poor. There, stick that there, <clears throat> carry the one. To get me started on Chris Packham. He is the best thing there's ever been. Right. <clears throat> Are you what? Of course you're not. Are you watching I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here this year? Of course, it's all change. Uh, normally it's in the jungle, and now it's in a Welsh castle. Um, sort of, you know, tiring slightly of the, the insects dropping on people. Uh, and I assumed, I assumed because it was a Welsh castle, I assumed it would, it would all be slugs this year. Uh, but they're sort of still going with the, the cockroaches. You know, but you make the punishment fit the environment. You know, that was the thing with the jungle. I mean, you know, they always, all the trials and stuff, you know, sort of appropriate. Like, ah, oh, do, you, do you remember that time? Ah. Uh, 
they staked Timmy Mallet out over some growing bamboo. You know, it, it, it's that thing you learn a lot. You learn so much about like human psychology um, and just how soft abdomens are. Um, oh, it was so funny. And uh, do you remember that time they buried David Van Day up to his neck in sand and then kicked his head off? Oh, God. Uh, so the castle, you know, I feel like they're missing a lot of tricks. You could have thumb screws and racks and hot pokers up the bum. Uh, all of that stuff. Uh, I don't know. I'll probably keep watching. I don't know. I didn't watch it yesterday. I was in that hole between you. you might, I don't know if you know, but you probably have a proper television set up. But I can't really get live TV. So I can either watch it live on like iPlayer or ITV Hub as it streams. But if I miss that, then I'm stuck in the hole between the live transmission and them actually putting it, uploading it on there. Watch it. I'm usually in that zone of oh, fascinating. God, fascinating. Please tell us more. Uh, it was interesting um, post on Fesshole. I don't know if you do Twitter. And if you do, I don't know if you follow at Fesshole, F-E-S-S. Hole. Um, someone posted, I'm doing test and trace from home for Circo. I didn't bother learning what to do and I haven't spoken to anyone in five months. I've been paid £1,350 a month for turning a computer on and turning it off a bit later. Nobody appears to give a tinker's cuss. It's heartening, isn't it? Brilliant. Uh, there is some heartening news. I don't know if you heard about Stephen Ellison. He's the consul general in Chongqing in China. And uh, the other day he was uh, just walking by a river in a nearby village and a woman uh, slipped on some rocks and fell into the water and she was unconscious and she was floating down the river and he dived in. He jumped in and he saved her life. Uh, she uh, was in fast moving current. She disappeared under a footbridge uh, and uh, he, he, he took off his shoes, which I think is a nice gesture because you don't want to dirty the river. Um, and uh, he saved her. And now he's this, this hero in China and literally single handedly has done more to cement relations between uh, China and the West. After all of that Huawei business, um, everybody, everybody loves him. Well, well done. Well done him. And I don't know if you saw the news story saying the thing about, you know, actually some video games actually can be quite good for you. Um, uh, there's a nice list of them in The New York Times. Um, one of which is one I'm, I really want to play. I already had on my list to play, and I, it's a list of one. Stardew Valley. It looks like a cross between like Farmville and Minecraft. It looks nice. It just looks nice. You get to plant things and, you know, they don't go all rubbish like those butternut squash did. Did you plant butternut squash? Waste of time, wasn't it? Waste of time. Uh, there's another game called Prune. Um which is sort of like creating a bonsai tree, I think, or you just gently trim a, a tree and then it grows. Prune uh, vignettes. That's a puzzle game about objects, a lantern, a music box, a watch, a pocket book, prod it, do things. And if you do it right, it will give you a little hit of pretty colors. This all sounds fine to me. I'm down with all of these. Gorogoa. 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 I don't know. Uh, it's very beautiful looking. Uh, it's a surreal journey through the tumult of the 20th century, uh, but with pretty pictures. Oh, it's just pretty pictures. Desert golfing. Don't bother. Uh, but the last one I really want to play is called Mountain. Uh, and it's basically like a kind of Tamagotchi of a mountain. The mountain is kind of floating in midair, uh, kind of like an iceberg, I guess. Uh, with a sort of dark underside and uh, it it grows and stuff and trees grow on it and stuff grows on it and it takes shape and then it interacts with you occasionally. Um, uh, apparently David O'Reilly who designed it said just just sort of leave it on in the background and then just check up on it occasionally. It's geology after all it's not exactly super fast moving stuff. Anyway, we should talk uh, about uh, stuff that we've been talking about, uh, emails and stuff. Uh, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Hannah's been to, oh, Hannah's done a poem, um, but I forgive her. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Love poetry. Love it. Um, morning, Jake. Hope all's well with you and yours and the apostles. Yes, it is our word. Uh, thank you so much for bringing mirth, merriment and mayhem to our mornings. 
Well, thank you for bringing the alliteration single-handedly. Uh, just what we need on any day, not only when things are as peculiar as they are now. Um, I've written a little verse, very naff, but from the heart. Oh, it tries to capture some of the fun we've had. Yes, it's the one-year anniversary tomorrow. Uh, who would have known back in mid-November 19 of the stories we've heard and the sights we've now seen, but who has been there and helped us get through? It's taken this podcast, not today. Thank you. This feels very self-aggrandizing, reading this out. I'm not okay with this. Not at all. We've learned lots of stuff about chickens and flies. <laughs> they go together so well. And listener homeschool was one of the highs. Oh yeah, that was great. We've delved into the lives of Amal, Nick and Greg Wallace, while Harry the Piano's music dis delivered sweet solace. I'm not doing a poem justice, Hannah. I apologize. We've made so many new friends imagined and real, like Dora and Brinsley, Scary Mark, Julie, Neil. We've mined social media, Patreon, Twitch, Periscope. So many new passwords, I simply can't cope. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. My top tip is just have one, leave it on a post-it on your computer, by the window. Uh, we've played Spot the Rock and those bleeding, joining balls. Ah, while the hunt for the mystery DJ kept us in thrall. We've listened to stories, spatula and games save and learned lots of fun facts from friendly cousin Dave. We've heard about France and veganism from Jake and how easily he's triggered if we mention Jaffa Cake. We've laughed and we've cried as we've all watched along and are always amazed by Jake's talent for song. So who has been there and helped us get through it? Shaking his podcast not today. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. That's extremely sweet of you. Um, that must have taken ages. Um, who, who, who's, who's got time for that? I appreciate that. Um, yesterday, we were talking about real Myers-Briggs. Uh, I don't know if you've ever done one of those online Myers-Briggs personality tests. People set a lot of stock by it. Uh, yeah, you know, employers and things. And it comes out with the four adjectives that describe your personality. Like... Um, EPNS. No, wait, that's electroplated nickel steel. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Pat says, hi, Jake and the adorable yapparat chicks. Oh, I quite like that. Uh, here are my results from a popular personality test. L C I S. L for logarithmic. <laughs> Being consumed by a single-minded mission to rid the world of the evils of lager. Possessing an almost Pac-Man-like drive to guzzle down as much as possible for the sake of humanity. Oh, you're good, Pat. That's very good of you. C for curry-centric. See above, only with rice and poppadums. I for inappropriate use of infantile attempts at humor. Constantly seeking any upper chance to, uh, any opportunity to bl blurt out, share online, scribble, or otherwise plaster witless sub-Christmas cracker jokes towards people who have better things to do with their time and would rather boil a body part than endure another one. Hey, don't knock boiling body parts. <laughs> God, I've said some fatuous things in my time. And finally, perhaps most troubling, S for still here, being possessed of the quite common trait of still being in a social situation long after it should be clear that the use of the nearest exit is far overdue. Well, all in all, I think that's not too bad, really, Pat. No, I think that's good. We've got, we've had a few more of these hashtag real Myers-Briggs. Uh, Alex says, I'm P-C-A-T. That's procrastinating. I'll do what the others are later. Julie has BIMF. No, that's, I'm so sorry. Uh, Julie's got EFIS. That's extrovert, filthy, insecure, self-loathing. Oh, wow. That's I'm putting it all out there. Uh, BIMF from Andrew. Uh, brilliant, ineffable, magnanimous, fibber. <laughs> Scared. Nat went anachro uh, anachronim. You can't say anachronistic, can you? Because that's a different thing. Acronymical. Uh, I'm drab, dozy, retiring, apathetic, bland. I don't think I don't think that's very accurate, but I'll I enjoyed the joke. Mike, B M H A. Hang on, B M H T. I think. Uh, bemused, meh, homeboy, and T. Focused. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. I need more sleep. David uh, says, uh, this is David Popey, says an old flatmate tried the test on me as part of her training. It said all sorts of stuff that wasn't true. She was so impassioned by it and I couldn't give a ticker's cuss. Uh, it left me quite deflated at the time. So I'll go for uh, W-I-L-T, which is, wait, I love tuna. I hate tuna. <laughs> okay. Um, gem, uh, 
has got uh, well let me Gemma has got uh, slow slovenly languorous obtuse wobbly nothing wrong with any of those uh, and Gem says uh, coincidentally my hashtag real Myers Briggs uh, for adjective letters are S L R C uh, which is what I'm planning to make for the Great Brinsley Bake Off wait a minute though Gem did you what what are your S L R C did we actually get to the bottom of that. And if we did, we probably did. I'll do it tomorrow. Doesn't matter. We never close. Um, yes, the great Brinsley Bake Off. We should talk about that. Uh, his SLRC are small luxury rock cakes. Ooh, they sound great. Um, we are baking on Sunday from two till four. If you'd like to join us, you can. Uh, we're trying to raise some money uh, for the Trussell Trust. Uh, they organize food banks all over Britain. Uh, if you would like to make a donation, you don't have to bother with all the faff of baking, because really, who's got time for that? Uh, you can go to justgiving.com slash fundraising slash not today pod, uh, and you can make a donation. Uh, I'm going to do that a little bit later on today. Um, and uh, we'll see if we can, you know, raise some money and give the whole thing some kind of point. <laughs> Um, if you're wondering, you're thinking, I, I wouldn't mind taking, I wouldn't mind doing a bake-off thing. The idea is you either bake something lovely or not lovely. Uh, all entries are equally valid. Uh, and if you're a bit stuck for inspiration for what to bake, you're thinking, oh, I don't, I don't know. Where would I get a recipe from? I've got just the thing. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be talking to Gretchen. Uh, she runs a website, a YouTube channel called uh, Gretchen's Vegan, Vegan Bakery. Uh, and she has a blog, too, with hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, amazing recipes for things you can bake. She's really lovely. You should check out her YouTube uh, site now because it's it's really fun. And uh, I interviewed her yesterday and we're going to have her in tomorrow's podcast as a little sort of birthday treat. <sighs> So there it is, only one more sleep to go. <laughs> um, we'll have a new logo, new theme tune, uh, but the same old stuff uh, other than that. So I hope you'll join me. Take care, lots of love, bye-bye. There it is. I'm in love with Primrose the Butcher's Dog. That's all I want to do now. <laughs> Rah! Oh, God. Disgusting dog. I love you. <laughs> Based on that dog, I said, you remember that dog I saw in the park? Just walking around holding a tennis ball. Just dropped it for a second. Like, oh, why is he dropping? Rat! Picked up the ball again. Happy days. Okay, did I make it? Uh, I need to drop something in. Uh, <clears throat> it just keeps getting pinged. the joke. Oh no, I said it! For God's sake. I said it. Hello. Good God, Darth. Yes, this is OnlyFans. I'm going to do the show in a minute. <laughs> um, you had an earthquake. Jesus. Uh, yes. 
Thomas, uh, that's that's how it works. Um, I threaten to strip unless you give me coins. Um. <laughs> you, could do, you could do like a reverse webcam show where people frantically pay you tokens or something to make you put your clothes back on. You have like an Amazon wish list of like... <laughs> make it stop. It. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Less revealing jumpers that keep riding up because your belly's got so... That's such a funny idea. <laughs> and things like dental floss. <laughs> Why not? Ah, <laughs> uh, I love the new theme tune so much. Do you want to hear it? I'll play it, y'all. I'll play it, y'all. It sounds like this. Hang on a minute. Here we go. <laughs> oh, nice, Thomas. This is an exclusive. Oh, glutton for punishment, are you? Yes, it is, Gary. You're absolutely right. It's very... Uh, it's newsy, but it's not uh, overly uh, aggressive. Oh, a clarinet. Where my dude is. Where's my dude? In the um, living room. I think I think my dude is hanging out in the living room. By the front window. By the front <laughs> Do both, Pat. Euphemistic and non. Take your doggies out. Um, have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. We are moments away. Oh, can we have lunch? Starving. Huh. <sighs>
To those of you uh, for whom it was the first time, I um, I hope you loved it. Uh, and uh, consider finding the Not Today Thank You uh, channel, which is new on YouTube. Uh, you can find new stuff over there. And if you subscribe to that, that would be really handy. And then I can start doing these over there, which would be great. So go over there now and find the extra things. All right. Lots of love. Take care and goodbye.